Hello, and welcome back to another edition of the Medique Trust plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about offsetting, sheathing, and cladding. And when I say offsetting, I'm talking about in the vertical direction. So I've recently added a feature uh, for common trusses and mono pitch trusses wherein you can offset your sheathing and cladding. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that by putting a little uh, truss roof on top, of, just a common truss roof on top of this uh, rectangular structure. So let's go ahead and jump into that right now and we'll go ahead and select our common truss. And then of course to draw that we select the first corner here. And this span I think is 24 feet by 28 feet long. All right, so three points to pick it and we'll just leave all that as default for now. Actually, I'm going to change this to a 612 pitch roof. And the rest of this is fine. And since we have the advanced options enabled, um, we'll just go ahead and leave everything as... Uh, uh, I think, let's turn this uh, on as flush. And then submit the advanced options. Okay, so there's our roof. <clears throat> so, first thing you'll notice is that I have the uh, sheathing and cladding on the gable ends turned off. And the reason why I turned that off actually is because I have the uh, <clears throat> sheathing and cladding actually on the same layer or tag as the wall plug-in currently. Uh, and I turned those off simply so it was easier to pick uh, the points in the framing. So it's just a little easier to reference. But what I'm going to do is, um, you know, I do have this um, layer control tool. But I guess old habits die a little hard, so I'm just going to hop in here real quick and just uh, turn a few things on and off manually here just because I need a little more granularity. So let's go ahead and turn on the sheathing, the wall sheathing. Notice that the sheathing on the gable roofs uh, turned on. And then I'm going to go ahead also and turn on the um, wall cladding, right? And of course, so that's a different color, but that's fine. We're not going to worry too much about that right now. And then actually for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the roof sheathing and cladding so we have some visibility on what's going on underneath that soffit and uh, fascia. So let's go ahead and just jump in here and go to the roof and sheathing. We'll turn on cladding. We'll turn off first. And as you can see, we've got a sheath roof, but we want to turn that off as well. Okay, so now... We have visibility. Okay, so <clears throat> this is the situation. Sometimes you have a situation here. Well, the way the gable wall uh, sheathing cladding is put on is, of course, it normally by default is drawn all the way up to the underside of the roof uh, plane, which in most cases is probably not how you're going to build it. Um, you know, I mean, this is the way it's always been drawn. So you have the option now where you can simply offset, uh, vertically offset this cladding and the sheathing to get it where you need it to go. So the first things first, we want to, um, let's turn off the cladding actually, um, just so we can work on the sheathing first. We'll make that visible after the fact. So I'm gonna turn the, um, let's see the wall cladding, I guess is what I want, right? Yeah, let's turn that wall cladding off. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I think with these outlookers being the way they are, we probably would put the sheathing. I mean, you may put it all the way up to the top. You may not. I mean, I'm not entirely sure. But let's just assume that you only want to come up as far as these outlookers go. Okay. So what you do is you just go here and hit Edit Truss Assembly. And you'll notice now we've added two more options. So we've added the sheathing vertical offset and the sheathing vertical offset bottom. T and bottom snap are top and bottom. So if I go ahead and put a 2 in here, and let's say a 4 in there, let's just update that and see what happens. Okay, so now you can, you'll can you notice that a positive number will offset making the sheathing larger. And in, in, in the case of the top, it'll push it up. In the case in the bottom, it'll push it down. So that means positive. So basically, when I when I say positive, I don't mean in a positive direction vertically, you know, in the Z direction, but more so uh, positive as far as um, 
basically offsetting away from uh, and making the uh, surface larger. Okay, so that's not what we want to do. So, <clears throat> so if you measure, basically, if you take your measure tool here, let's take a look here. If we can get a number on this here real quick. You'll notice that distance vertically is two inches. So it's not the distance uh, perpendicular to the plane, but it's actually the vertical distance. So if we want to, let's drop this back down to zero. There's no need for that. And same with this. Um, if we want to drop this now so that it perfectly aligns to the bottom of this, that distance requires actually just a little bit of math on our part, which isn't really that hard. But <clears throat> to demonstrate what I'll do is I will, you know, we've got, we know we have a 612 roof. So first off, we just want to uh, calculate the um, uh, the angle, and that's easily enough done. So 6 divided by 12, take the inverse tangent, gives us a 26.56 degree roof. Okay, so 26 and a half degrees, essentially. So now, <clears throat> to get this distance vertically, we obviously it's a longer distance. If I draw a little uh, line here to demonstrate, I don't know if this is very helpful or not, but... Let me just show you. Uh, we want that to be like that, yes. Okay. So this distance here, of course, is an inch and a half, regular 2 by 4 But, <clears throat> um, and actually I drew that. That's wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. We're actually, what we're talking about is, it's, it's parallel. Sorry, it's... Um, the triangle we're actually talking about is that triangle. Okay, there we go. So the distance we're actually talking about is this distance right here. So as you can see, it is longer than one and a half inches, right? So, and actually what it actually is, is this angle right here in the, up here in the top. I don't know if you can see my cursor or not. That angle is the angle of the roof okay and so that means that this length to get that length all you do is you take one and a half inches and then you divide that by the cosine of the angle of the roof okay so we take the cosine of 26 degrees that's 0.894 then we take one and a half inches divided by 0.894 and that is 1.677 Okay, so a guy could a guy could measure this. Uh, you don't have to do the math if you don't want. You can just take and put your uh, you know your measurement there. In fact, what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to go here into the model info just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to switch this over to decimal so we can see that better. Okay, so again, like I said, I just calculated. You can you can just draw it as well. It's one point six seven seven. Okay, close enough. So. If we want to drop this down to perfectly meet the bottom of those outlookers, <clears throat> we just go in here, put in minus 1.677 to the third decimal place is probably accurate enough for all intents and purposes. And there you have it. Now your sheathing is nicely tucked underneath those uh, out outlookers. Okay. So that's kind of the purpose of this whole uh, vertical offset business. Okay, is you can you can offset and you know basically bring your sheathing and your cladding uh, down to where it needs to be. I'll just go ahead and delete that. Uh, so also on the bottom, um, you know, for whatever reason, if you need to offset up or down, you have that option here with the um, this this uh, parameter, the bottom one. But obviously, right here, we don't need to worry about that. Okay, so let's go ahead now and turn back on our wall cladding. Okay, so in this particular situation now, notice that we've got our soffit, and typically, I'm not exactly sure how, you know, the, the guys, the siding guys do their soffits and fascias and how they match it up with this. But let's just assume, for whatever reason, um, let's throw a little reference line in here to get a, a better idea. Even sure if I drew that correctly or not, but basically you want to probably drop this um, 
let's just say we want to drop it down to where the soffit is. Okay, so the question is, what is that distance? Well, let's let's throw a little line on it if we can. And all we need to do is put our line up here. I don't know if I drew it quite properly or not, but it seems to me that it drew. Uh, I think I know what happened. So let's, let's let's redo this little little line that I drew. I don't think it quite drew it in the right spot. Okay, so let's just we want it on the intersection there. We want it right on the edge of this. Yeah, it put it there. That's why. Okay. We want it right on the face. Okay, now I think we've got a better handle on it. Okay. So all we need to do is just figure out how much we want to drop it by. I'm not going to do any math. I'm just going to put a little line here. And I probably shouldn't have hid that underneath my Outlooker, but oh well, let's try that again. Let's put one over here. And what's, what's, what's wrong with a few straight lines, right? Okay. So if we drop that down to there, it should be perfectly lined up. So let's take a look at this line. And I can see here in the edge, it says 6.5684. So I'm going to go ahead and drop. Now come down here to the cladding. Same two options. Uh, we have the top and the uh, bottom vertical offset. So of course I'm going to go for the top. I'm going to go minus. 6.568, which is close enough. And then just go ahead and hit update. And then we should be good. And we can go ahead and just delete that little reference line. Go ahead and delete that other reference line. And if we look at it, it appears that it dropped it right below the soft at where I was thinking. Okay, well, let's go ahead and put a little... Uh, section here and see what happens so if we move this over just a little bit we get an idea of what's going on there we go that's better okay and as you can see we pretty much nailed it right so you can see that that soffit is right on top of that edge of that uh, siding all right, so basically in a nutshell, um, the offset, vertical offset gives you the ability to drive down or drive up uh, the sheathing and cladding, and then uh, gives you just a little bit more flexibility here with your modeling. And of course, um, I haven't enabled this for every uh, truss type, but I have enabled it for the uh, regular common trusses and for the mono pitch trusses. So I still need to uh, get this uh, parameter enabled for all the other truss types but at least hey we've got a start and of course the common trusses are probably used the most often so I just wanted to get this out there and get it going all right so if you have any other questions about this um, please feel free to give me a holler and once again guys thank you for your support and uh, we will talk to you guys later